Hello there YouTube, Devin here again, and uh, today I have another uh, video for you on one of my favorite pieces of gear, but this is kind of a new spin on a new piece of gear. Now this is an M65 field jacket. Now this is technically a US M65 field jacket, but uh, we'll get into that here. Now what this is in is this is in uh, the proprietary uh, Afghan National Army uh, digital camouflage. Um, this is a camouflage that has been in the media a lot in recent years and months um, over the actual effectiveness of it. <laughs> um, this was... If you look at Afghanistan, it's actually a pretty arid environment. Um, this doesn't look arid at all, does it? Um, but this camouflage uh, was actually, you know... While not super effective for what most people see as Afghanistan through the eyes of the media, which is a pretty arid desert environment, this is actually a fairly effective camouflage for the purpose that they wanted it. And the reason why the, uh, the Afghan National Army went with this camouflage is, for one, they operate a lot at night, which is why this is a lot darker, okay? And uh, two, they wanted a camouflage... Um, pattern made overseas, uh, their largest ally right now being the United States, all right, that could not easily be copied and made in another country so it could be used by their enemy, so it's a very unique uniform, right? And for three, they wanted it to actually stand out to some degree, all right? Now, the reason they wanted it to stand out is so that people could understand that this is a good guy. Somebody wearing this is a good guy. This is a camouflage that nobody else other than the good guys can have and get. And um, it works actually quite well as far as arid environments go at night. Uh, it's actually a woodland-based camouflage. It was designed for temperate woodland environments. It's got four uh, main colors on it. It has kind of a tan uh, slash light olive drab color. It has kind of a light pale green um, has a medium brown and then has a dark brown, a kind of dark brownish purple in it. And it's actually a pretty effective camouflage. Now, this uh, jacket was actually made in the United States um, by a U.S. manufacturer, a manufacturer that actually made, if you ever had one of the ACU uh, gray digital um, M65s, uh, this is one of the two contractors that made those. Um, so it's pretty much the same. As you can see, it differs from the old M65s in the fact that it has Velcro on it for um, attachment of patches and name tapes and stuff like that. Um, the epaulets were removed. Uh, most, M, uh, most M65s didn't have anything here on the front, uh, but now this has a uh, rank uh, piece of Velcro on it. Most M65s don't come with the name tapes on them. Uh, the ACU ones will come with these, though. The older woodland ones will not, though. Um, and uh, the epaulets were removed, so there's no, no rank epaulets up here. Um, but this is uh, made by... Uh, let's take a look here. Um, it also comes with a slightly different liner. It has this kind of tan liner in it instead of uh, tr your traditional green one, uh, which I thought was kind of cool because the tan ones are actually pretty hard to come by. Um, and it has tan finish on all of it, so all the hardware is tan. Um, all the buttons are tan. Um, all the zippers are tan, uh, and all the Velcro is this kind of, uh, tan color. Um, which is kind of weird on a woodland, uh, camouflage pattern, I think, but it's kind of neat. Now, here's the tag on it. Alright, it has a handwritten, uh, 035 up at the top. Um, it's a size medium, it's for height over 63 inches. Uh, chest, uh, so it's my size, essentially, and it's, a. Uh, Liner, cold weather coat, um, spec 15-D-1077. The outer shell is 100% nylon, all right? And the batting is 100% polyester, and it's made by Bethel Industries, all right? Bethel Industries made a lot of the ACU uh, M65 field jackets along with Golden Manufacturing. Now, um, I undid these top two buttons, but these would button, the liner would button in up here. Um, but here's the tag for the tag and care maintenance for the actual coat. Now, actually, you could see that this Stamp is 035, just like the liner, so this is a matching liner and jacket. These are both unused, by the way. Uh, height 67 to 71, 
uh, chest 37 to 41, so it's my size again. It has the stock number, uh, has the NATO size, um, cold weather field contract, everything like that. Outer shell, it's a 50-50 nylon, uh, nylon cotton, uh, and the lining on it, um, unlike a lot of the US M65 field jackets where they're 100% cotton lined, uh, this is a 65 uh, 35 polyester. So this t tan fabric here is uh, polyester cotton. Once again, this is made by Bethel Industries. And uh, here it says um, tag from a lot of is different from a lot of uh, US M65s if you ever own one in a cold, dry climate. All right, wear button and liner for extra insulation. Uh, lubricate slide fastener to flax. All the other stuff is pretty much the same. Uh, tells you how to care for it and not to remove the label. Now. Uh, I'm very, very happy to have one of these. Other than that, it's a standard um, M65 field jacket as far as the pocket arrangement goes um, and everything like that. Um, so if you're familiar with an M65, you'll f be familiar with one of these. Um, it's a little bit lighter, though, than an M65. Uh, it's not as thick, either. Um, it just uh, it doesn't feel as beefy as the American ones. Um, so I have an ACU one uh, that I was directly comparing this one to. Um, I've had this one for a while. I actually got this from a friend. Uh, he wouldn't tell me where he got it. Um, but he said he got it overseas. Um, so while he was in Afghanistan, um, but I'm guessing he stole it. So I'm not going to say his name or anything like that, but I'm guessing he stole it. Um, I took a lot of the other stuff off of it. It did have name tapes on it, um, just to protect the identity there. Um, it had the, uh, A and A, uh, uh, on this side, it had the A and A like a triangle uh with the um in the circle the like red uh uh white and uh green triangle or is it yeah it's red red black and green triangle on a white circle uh with a gold border around the white circle and it had the little arabic uh symbols around it um and then uh, above here it had the um just the uh, afghan flag so um, but here's the one that I uh, decided to keep on here because I'm not sure if this one's real or not. Um, but it says Special Forces Commando Raider on it um, and a bunch of Arabic symbols. I don't know who, if these guys actually exist, if they're important in the Afghan National Army or anything like that. I couldn't find a ton of information on them. Um, but uh, I'm not sure if this is an actual Special Forces patch or not. So that's why I decided to leave that one on there. But uh, it came with the full shebang on it came with the uh the rank on it uh it was a pretty high up rank something officer uh if i had to guess um but so but i'm not going to show all that stuff because uh i don't know if that's something i can legally show and i don't want the video taken down so i figured better safe than sorry uh but yeah so this is a, a pretty rare thing to have because you can't actually buy this this camouflage isn't for commercial sale um, it's strictly, uh, controlled under the patent rights of the uh, Afghan government. Um, so they are the sole, uh, have the sole purchase rights to produce, uh, this camouflage and authorize people to produce this camouflage. Um, so they're incredibly hard to find. And, uh, I got it in my size nonetheless. So, and with a bunch of cool stuff on it. So, uh, tell me what you guys think about this. If you're, you're cool like this, if you got some of this your own, um, what you thought about this camouflage, if you've ever been to Afghanistan, um, I've seen pictures of the Afghan army wearing this in Afghanistan. It doesn't seem to blend into shit uh, during the day, but some of the night pictures, this actually works really, really well. So uh, hopefully uh, you guys have some opinions on this, or if you just think this is cool, I'd very much like to know if you guys think this is cool down in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.